Hello, my name is Mr. Carl, and I'm very excited to read a story with you today. This is called Big Bad Bubble. And if we take a look at this cover, we have this yellow furry monster, and there's a little tiny bubble floating down to him. But he looks very afraid of that bubble. And that's kind of weird, because why would a monster with sharp teeth be afraid of something as harmless as a bubble? Let's read the book and find out why. So the story is by Adam Rubin and the pictures are by Daniel Salmeri. You may not know this, but when a bubble pops, it doesn't just disappear. If it doesn't disappear, where does it go? It reappears in La La Land where the monsters live. For some reason, all the big scary monsters are terrified of bubbles. Fruful, why are you running away? Yerbert, what's the matter? Whoopus, stop crying. All these big monsters afraid of a little tiny bubble. I'm sure you've played with bubbles before and you know they're harmless. When a bubble hits your nose, it pops, and it doesn't hurt at all. Turns out it's all Mogo's fault. When Mogo was little, a chewing gum bubble attacked his face. Since then, all he can talk about is how dangerous bubbles are. Here's little Mogo, and take a look at his face. He did get a lot of gum on his face but it seems like that made him afraid of bubbles for the rest of his life. And here's Mogo, he says, bubbles are sneaky. You never hear them coming. When there's one bubble, there are many bubbles. They travel in packs. Summer is the worst time for bubbles. That's when they go on a feeding frenzy. But don't listen to Mogo. We know he has no idea what he's talking about. I'll admit, it's a bit surprising when a bubble suddenly appears out of nowhere, but that's part of the deal of living with La La Land. On the plus side, donuts grow on trees here, and the rent we can see is very cheap. Wow. So it seems like there's a lot of great reasons to live in Monster Land. Hey, look! Here comes a bubble now! Yerbert, stop running around in circles. You have giant fangs. You can deal with the bubble. Fruful, climb down from that tree. Look at your claws. You have point, pointy claws. You can pop the bubble. And Wumpus, get out from under those covers. You're much too big for that bed anyway. So isn't it silly that these big monsters with sharp, sharp claws and sharp teeth, they're just gonna run away from the bubble when they could probably pop it so easily. Bubbles kill thousands of monsters every year. No, they don't. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Look, here's a bubble. It's just a thin layer of soap and water wrapped around a ball of air. It's soft and delicate, and it couldn't hurt a fly. You could pop it with your finger. See? And here's the monster, and he sees the bubble coming. He's like, oh, oh. And he's going to pop it. Pop and see what happens. Is the bubble going to hurt him? Yorbert, use your fangs. Fruful, use your claws. Wumpus, don't be scared. It's just a teeny tiny. Oh, wait, that's actually a pretty big bubble. He's a goner. Quiet, Mogo, go on, Wumpus. You can do it. All right, I want us to all tell Wumpus before I turn the pig that you can do it. You can pop the bubble. Can you shout that at Wumpus for me? You can do it, Wumpus. You can do it, Wumpus. You can do it, Wumpus. Kaboom. See, Mogo doesn't know what he's talking about. There's no reason to be afraid of a bubble. Enjoy your bubblegum, Yerbert. 
Have fun popping your bubble wrap, Froofle. Oh boy, that's a big bath full of bubbles, Wumpus. Save some water for the fish. Splash. So it looks like the monsters are learning. Bubbles aren't dangerous. Fine. Maybe bubbles aren't so dangerous after all. Butterflies on the other end. And this is Mogo holding up his book. It's called The Truth About Butterflies. And there's a big butterfly with fangs. That looks really scary. And here are all the monsters running away from a butterfly. So I think we learned in the story, oftentimes we're afraid of things, but there's no rational reason to be afraid of them. We're just afraid of them because we've never experienced them before. So all of these monsters, they were afraid of bubbles because they didn't realize you could just simply pop them. And now they're afraid of butterflies because Mogo told them that butterflies have fangs. But oftentimes getting over our fears is important because we would lose out on so many experiences if we were just afraid of things all the time. So I hope you enjoyed this story. I hope you had a lot of fun. I'll be back with another story time real soon. Be safe and be well. Bye-bye.